Good morning everyone, welcome to Lost Things Gaming, the home of tips, tricks, guides and tunes. And I'm not sort of talking about Forza today, although it relates to Forza. How often have you guys tried to connect to online in Forza for your eyes and life and it just won't have it? They keep saying that there's a connection problem and you've got issue after issue, it won't reconnect and it's just a pain in the backside and you end up having to drive around in solo mode. And I'm going to show you a fix to this because it is easy to fix. It's not a difficult problem on the PC because when it comes to Xbox, it's probably related to your router and your and your NAT and stuff like this. And if you've got your own router, best to sort of look up instructions on checking that. If you've got an ISP provided router, they're normally very locked down and you can't change anything. So you might need to call your ISP for that. But if you're on a PC, on a Windows 10 machine, I can show you how to get round the biggest problem, the most common reason for this network problem. And it does require a little bit of command line. It does require a little bit of copy and pasting, but I'll give you all the codes, all the commands, stuff you need to do to get this working. It comes up, unable to join session. View network diagnostics. Okay, let's get this open and let's have a look at what this window tells me. It comes up, unable to join session. Support ID, server ID. I don't know why it's connected to central US because I'm actually in England should be connecting to Europe. So it was a way to do this. I've cut over to my desktop. I've still got Forza running. And I go into my settings. There is a gaming option there. And then you go to Xbox networking. And it checks your Xbox networking. It's a similar thing on the Xbox for this. And it's got connected. So my internet's connected. I'm up and running on my Xbox Live. Massive ping. But NAT type, Torito is unable to qualify. This could block you from playing multiplayer games. And server connectivity, blocked. This could block you from multiplayer. There is a button at the bottom which Microsoft would tell you. Press that button. Try and fix it. It resets all the stuff back to Microsoft servers. So in the first instance, I would advise you to click that button that says fix it. And then do a check again. And then the commands I am going to give you would sort it out if this first check fails to do so. So you click fix. And you just let it do its thing. This takes a few seconds to work. OK, we tried fixing the problem. Check again to see if it's worked. So we're doing another check. Remember, my internet's fine. The Xbox Live services at this time are all up and running. 206 milliseconds latency, which is far too bad. But unfortunately, I'm not able to connect to Torito. So what you need to do is go in and load up command prompt, but load it as run as an administrator. You need to be an admin for this. And that's easy enough in Windows. And it brings up this window and I'll give you some commands in the description here and all I'm doing is copy and pasting so that's just having a look at the state of the Torito connection which is what it uses to connect to the multiplayer games you don't have to understand this stuff just know that this is what you need for the games and it's saying it's offline and, and I'm in a managed network okay so this command sets it up as an enterprise client, I am on Windows 10 Professional, by the way, but it shouldn't matter too much which one you are on. You want to change the Torito server away from Microsoft's crappy, unreliable one to this one. This is based in Europe. This is an open server, a public server, and it is safe, it is secure. And I'm going to run this command again, and it comes up. I'm a client on Torito. Uh, it's qualified. I've got port forwarding on, UPnP on. Um, I've actually blocked out my external IP address for security reasons, but you should have numbers in that. Another check of the Xbox networking shows that it actually has connected. Brilliant. That's absolutely fantastic. So the net Xbox is connected. So I'm going to 
go back to Forza, click retry on that error message, and let's see if it can find an Horizon Live session. This may take a couple of minutes to come in, and sometimes it may be a little bit jittery when it connects. It is for me anyway. When it connects to a brand new session, it does actually jitter for about a minute or so. And I don't know quite why that is, although I do suspect it is because I've got a really high ping, a really high latency rate connecting to Microsoft multiplayer servers. But that's sort of an issue I've got. But after that, it all runs quite nicely, runs really well. And that's how you fix it. And for me personally, every time I restart Windows, I need to put those three commands into the command prompt the same way as I did there. I don't have to mess around with the checking because I know it works. But I'm showing you the checking for purposes of showing you it works. So those three commands get copy and pasted into the command line, into command prompt. And that does sort my problem out. That's how I do it. And basically, guys, that's it. You can see I'm online now. Invite friends is there. I can see a player list. There's 57 people on the server at this time. And if you skip through, all the multiplayer stuff's on. Online adventures available. Backstage pass. Everything's available. And it's basically working. So if you're on a PC, that's sort of how you have to get around it. In the first instance, go to Xbox Networking, tell it to fix it, and it'll it'll do it sometimes, but not always, because the Microsoft servers are a bit are a bit rubbish because what you're connecting to, because what the error is, is it's not the game servers you play on, it's the name servers that redirect you to the game servers. And all I've done in this video is changed the Windows settings to use alternate name servers. So we still point to the game servers because the game does that, but it just does it through a more reliable tunnel. And this is what I have to do. This, this works. It does the job. And this is how I can play online on the PC. And this is something I do have to do. But that is that, guys. That's that video. Hopefully, it's been interesting to you guys. Hopefully, this has gone some way to solving some of your network issues when it comes to Forza Horizon, particularly on Windows 10. If you do like this stuff, hit that like, hit subscribe, because I do post a lot of Forza stuff out, and I am pretty technically minded. So any questions you've got about anything like this, give me a shout, and I'll do my best to answer it. So until next time, thank you for watching. Take it easy, and happy driving.